Are you Galeev? The healer? I had planned to spend the day gazing at the lands of my exile and feeling sorry for myself, but you're not from Sunfall, so this could be interesting. I came from the tenth city there. There's a sick girl. Her brother told me about you. The answer is no. What? No, I can't spare the medicine, nor my time to administer it. My resources are already spread thin, thin as the soiled cloths I have to use for dressings. What's stopping me from just making you do it? I'd have to cause a situation. And you wouldn't harm the only healer disgraced enough to work for the Shadow Karja, would you? Well, we've only just met, but yes, it's tempting. And take it up with the Citadel. They decide who lives and dies. Nothing you can do would compare to my punishment if I use the last of my stock on a tent girl. <sighs> You're kind of an ass, healer. There's no cure for a conscience, but in this line of work, I've built up an immunity to it. And yet, if you feel so strongly about this one girl, perhaps we can make a deal. My charity for a Thunderjaw heart. That's not how charity works. It is how deals work. You'd settle my debts for a while. Those parts aren't exactly easy to come by. As it happens, a thunder jaw prowls the Valley of Omens, north and west of here. I know it well because they expect me to put its victims back together. Runaways, mostly. If I do this, it's not for you. Oh, I'm not expecting you to do it at all. But I'll be heading back to the Citadel later. I don't have the part yet. Your thunder jaw is to the north and west of here, you said? In the Valley of Omens. Really, as a healer, I should advise against this undertaking. But you won't just give me the aid I need. No. Thunder Jaw shouldn't be hard to find. Just hope I see it before it sees me.
Won't get anywhere this way. The food is from Dowager Queen Nasadi, little ones. Her Highness knows times are hard and helps when she can. Eat, but bring some home for your families, if you have one. I've heard whispers about you. Rides machines, fancy spear, delightful freckles. Some even say you have a conscience. <laughs> How extraordinary. Who are you? You're obviously not one of the Shadow Karja. My name is Vanasha. For now, all you need to know is that I'm a whisper of reason in this howling pit of insanity. <sighs> I know how that feels. I'm sure you do. And so does Uthid. He's a good man, so naturally the Shadow Karja want to murder him. I've done some digging, and I think he's headed for the Green Climb. It won't take those mercenaries long to find him. He could use some help, if you're so inclined. I'll do what I can for Uthid. But what about you? What about me what? What will you do while I risk my life? Useful things, little huntress. Look for three dead trees south of Sunfall. They mark the start of the green climb. Good luck. I have your machine part. A deal's a deal. See to the girl, and it's yours. On my oath. But tell me, if this girl survives, what do you suppose is her future? It's better than not having a future at all. What a charming notion. Come, come, let's be quick about this. Kindness doesn't keep well in the heat. trials we've endured since leaving Meridian. It's since you. Hello again. I've brought someone to see your sister. How did you... What did we do to deserve... No, wait. I don't even want to ask, in case a shadow passes over and it's gone. Smart boy. She'll have his full attention, won't she? Once I'm freed of other distractions, yes.